the strike is finally over. Yay! Who child to get off? Okay, I don't know what this is gonna look like. <clears throat> Where my tea at? What up, y'all? Hopefully you can hear me. I'm gonna try to hook up this lavalier and see if the audio gonna give what it's gonna give. So if it's a little messy behind me, it's because I'm over here being a tech nerd and trying to figure shit out, okay? <laughs> Oh, give me just a moment, please. Because <clears throat> we're going to hop right to it. That, it. If we don't do anything. Okay, what the instructions say here? Press the function key at the transmitter. Which one's the transmitter? Oh, I would have thought this would have been the transmitter, not the... Okay. And this the receiver, but I don't make the rules. Okay, so transmitter for three seconds. One, two, three. All right, the hose is blinking. Yes, red light, green light, one, two, three. I wish I could see that. <laughs> Hopefully it's focused. After the pairing is successful, a green light of the transmitter and receiver is on for a long time. Needs the jack. Okay. Oh shit, bitch, where's, the, where's that? I think this might be this little thing right here. So I think we gotta do this. Okay, do I, do I just plug her into the side? That's what she said. <laughs> Let's give her a go. Okay. <laughs> Mic check one, two, one, two. I should probably stand behind the camera and see if I'm getting, you know, any levels. Can y'all give me a moment while I do that? Okay. All right, we gonna go. Hopefully the audio sounds decent. Um, if it don't, I'm sorry. This is my first time trying the girls. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to figure it out. Okay, I, I'm gonna just roll. Hey y'all, greetings kings, queens. Welcome back to my planet. It's your queen goddess lavender number. Let me sit back a little bit. I don't need to be up in y'all face like that. Um, <clears throat> but saying all that to say, hey y'all, it's been a minute. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, life has been lifing, work has been working. I had a very busy October, for sure. Um, October was wild. Um, I pretty much worked my tail off. Damn near worked almost the whole month. I've been, I was really, really, really busy. I had a lot of, a lot of hours for my job um, because of the Halloween season. And I heard it's only going to pick up. So there's that. Yay. But um, we'll do what needs to be done. But we're going to get right into the shits. Um, as you can see, I'm not even dressed for today's episode. I literally just woke up, brushed my teeth, ate some breakfast, which was some ramen, leftover ramen. And made my green tea because I think this is an important message and we're going to hop right to it. Um, hopefully this audio is good. If it's not, I'll fix it in post, okay? I love y'all. And hopefully y'all love me too now. As you can see, there's been some updates. The strike is finally over. Yay! Part of me wants to be... I'm not as excited as I thought I was going to be that the strike is over. That's the main point. Simply because I feel that we shouldn't have been in this mess in the first place. Like, let's be for real. Over the last three years, the AMPTP made so much money. That's your, your Disney's, your Hulu's, Paramount's, HBO's, The Nine, Netflix, etc. They made so much money during this pandemic. We were all home watching TV. Everybody had no choice but to subscribe to something over the last three years. You understand what I'm saying? But the, the math wasn't mathing. The money wasn't matching up to what actors should have been paid for the amounts of my, I wish I had my phone near me so I could probably look at the exact numbers, but I'm sure your profit margins had to be like maybe three to 600%, something crazy like that, because you have to understand the entire world was home watching TV, not just the United States, you know, and we all ain't had much better to do other than the central workers that were out there working their tail off, you know, uh, shout out to them. Uh, my mom is one of them. Mommy, I love you so much. And she called COVID twice working in the hospital. And she's in her 60s, okay? A bitch was worried. Hello? Hi. Um, moving on from that. I want to be happy. I do. I mean, I am happy. Let me, let me not say that. I'm just not overjoyed or excited to go back to work for the group of people that wanted us to lose our homes and starve and lose our livelihood in the first place. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, y'all didn't want to pay me in the first place. Allowed me to not have a livelihood for 110 days or 112 days plus, whatever. Then I got to still turn back around and be joyous and go back and make y'all more money. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel way, I feel my moral compass is really, 
in a hard place right now. You know, thanks, thank God to my agents over at commercials. We don't have this issue over there. Commercials have been good so far. Um, we don't know if there's going to be ever a strike on that because, like I said, we haven't pushed the needle and they've been treating people great so far. Um, that's all you could really do during the strike anyway was commercials. And non, well, I'm non union, so I had to do some non union projects. But if you want to join the, um, the union at a later date, uh, you could not also work for those companies because they could have blacklisted you and you could never join. So I, it's kind of like I still had to follow the same SAG after rules, even though, you know, um, and I can only promote non-union stuff or stuff that just doesn't fall under the AMPTP umbrella. I know a lot of people were like, oh, actors go get a real job. I'm like, you know how boring your life would be if you had no music or no entertainment and anything? That is a real job. Some people are born creative. That's just what it is. And some people just make money trying to be a creative. We all know how that's going. But anywho, you know, I saw so I'm just a little frustrated. Like I wanted to be excited that it was over, but I could not find the joy within my heart to be like, yay, it's over. I just was like, okay, that's cool. Whew. I'm gonna still keep my job though. <laughs> I had two jobs this year. Both were great. Both were entertainment friendly. They allowed me to use my acting skills because I'm a, a people person at work. Yeah, because I really don't like people like that for real. People understand like I'm a sweetheart to people I care about and I'm mean to everybody else because my temperature is too a little, a little too short, but staying on task. Um, and plus people take my kindness for weakness. So I know if you can survive the mean me, you can survive the nice me. You don't have to work for it. Yeah, I don't have to work for this niceness now. I used to get that shit out for free. Not no more. Anywho, um, yeah, I, I want to be excited, you know, and, you know, a lot of people think it's not strange, but like you failed as an actor, if you go back and get a job because, you know, you didn't become this big actor, actress, there's a lot of working actors who are not in your top 1%, like your Will Smiths, your Tom Cruises, your Viola Davises. A lot of people still have great working careers, but you got to understand capitalism in America makes just life and living expensive. It don't matter what you do, whether you're an entertainer or not. And for me personally, this might sound a little wild, but when it comes to my entertainment careers and dreams, like goals, excuse me, I've accomplished them all. And now I'm at a place of like, well, what do I do next? Um, do I want to go back to acting? Yeah, well, I still could do commercials. Yes, because I love my agent. She's just bomb. Hey, <laughs> make a long story short, because acting is not necessarily my passion. It's just something I'm good at. Talking is what I can do also that I'm also good at. I know, after, especially after being a host on NBT now, that my voice is my gift. So I'm willing to pivot in that direction. That's just me though. Because for me, the Aries in me always takes art very seriously because I'm an artist through and through. That's why I've always struggled to maintain a full-time job because the art always seeps back into my heart, snatches me back out every time. Um, it's not that I don't have the discipline on the structure, I do. But saying all that to say, excuse me, I'm glad both groups were able to come up with some agreements uh, that tentative is the word, excuse me, for us moving forward in the acting industry. Let this be a wake up call, I guess, to them, because had they just paid us a little bit more money, mind you, I only get paid $216 per day on a union project and a day can range from like 12 hours. <gasps> You do the math, because it ain't much. It's not it's not that much coins per day. That is what a union actor can get per day. Unless you're big time, you work at a different salary and contract if you're shooting like a series. But if you're just like a guest star, or you kind of just popping in one episode here and there, you don't make that much, baby. Like, I don't, that's what I try to tell people. When you see me on TV, don't ask me for no money, because I ain't bad. It's really like that. Where I, I mean, I thank God I never proclaimed to be rolling in dough. My bill's gonna be paid, and I'm gonna have a good time. I'm finna spend some money. But rolling in dough, mm -mm. ain't nobody said that I love to live within my means and have a good time. You budget, you get everything you need to get done. You know, I thank God I've never been flossy or flashy online. And even if I got it, I'm probably still not gonna be flossy or flashy online. In my real life, probably. <laughs> Needless to say, I guess, you know, I'll be promoting a lot more of the stuff that I've been doing. I was able to do, I've mostly been working at my job this past six months anyway, but I have started um, a new job or a new gig, if you will as one of the co-hosts and host at uh, panelists at um, the National Black Television. It's called NBT. The show's called Sisterhood in America. I remember auditioning. I didn't think I got it. And then they were trying to uh, get in contact with me and we had a bit of difficulty with that. But to make a long story short, it's been great. Everyone has told me in my lifetime that being a host, a TV personality, talk show host, panelist, voiceover actress, 
was my gift. And my voice is my gift. I can't tell you how many times, even up until the last episode we just shot, one of our co-hosts was like, oh my God, I wish I could just bottle your voice up. It just sounds so great. I would still be doing commercials here and there, but we're going to try to go more the Angie Martinez, more journalism. Think of like the real, that's kind of like the format, no shade. Um, the real is kind of more the format that I am in right now because it's four women at a time. We speak current events and so on. If you haven't already downloaded the MBT app, please make sure you do that. They do have a free and paid version where you can catch the show. I just have to find out the time slot in which, in which the show airs so you all can watch it. I'll try to figure out for those who are international. I do have some international guests on here. Hey, shout out to the UK base that I can try to figure out the times for you all because I think the time difference, you guys might be eight hours ahead or six hours ahead. Um, that's pretty much the updates and life updates on me. I'm currently, oh, it's, I thought it was there. I'm currently dusting up and brushing up my resume as we speak okay because i just want to be a little bit delulu and apply for those jobs that i know i'm supposed to be at i mean of course you know in my best cassidy voice i'm a hustler baby new york girls we know one thing we gotta do is get money <laughs> get money which is like uh and i'm never ever gonna shame another artist or an actor, whoever is still grinding and hasn't made it to the point where their career has financially taken care of themselves for having a job while you're pursuing the art. I feel like that's the smart way to do it. Who wants to be a starving artist? That shit is a fallacy and a relic of the past. There are too many ways that you can make money that can fund your art and you get what you need to get done. I mean, it's all about duality for me. Um, like I said, niggas could never shame me on that, please. Cause I, I don't know for some reason why that even happens. People are like, oh, you got a job and you ask, huh? That acting ain't work out, huh? No, bitch, it don't mean I fail. It just means I need more money. Fuck what you talking about. Um, the competition is fierce. I believe they said acting is second in place to the presidency in level of competition. So it, it's stiff. There's a lot of great actors and actresses out there. But it's just what I'm also noticing in the industry, just cyborg, now that we're on a random rant. <laughs> now that we've finished talking about the, the important task at hand. Um, topic at hand, excuse me, is that I'm noticing that a lot of already famous people in other areas are venturing into acting. Like Kim Kardashian has now, she's still doing the reality TV thing, but now has ventured into American Horror Story or like Young Miami venturing into BMF. You know, so it's stuff like that sometimes that makes me feel a little discouraged with acting because. And it's no shade to them that they're famous and popular already. But, you know, those roles could have went to people who, who I feel really deserved it, that trained and went to acting class and got their MFAs and went to the Juilliards and the Fordhams of the world that have um, great acting programs, the Tishes of the world, you know, that get passed over for a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? I sometimes don't feel that that's fair, but it just seems like in this industry these days, um, they're looking for popular, not necessarily talented. They, could, they can groom somebody to be talented, but they can't groom somebody to have, be popular or be likable by the masses. So that's the other part that I think is kind of a gripe for me personally, but it is what it is. Can't hate the player, just the game. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. All right, like me, because I'm 5'5". Five five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. all right my loves um that's it that's all that's the post and um we'll talk very soon once i you know get my life together and i'll let you know what my new gig's gonna be i mean well you know one of them already um but i'm definitely looking for a new job i love the one i am at now it's just very draining at times um because it's just it's just high intensity and i think the older i get the more i want to still Make more coin, but in a more relaxed environment. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that. I'm 35 now. Bitches need to ooh, take this 10 to a 5. Or maybe 5 to a 2. Okay? So love, peace, and hair grease. It is your queen goddess, Lavender Monroe. You already know, a.k.a. your drama actress. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I love y'all so very much. Mm, sloppy wet kiss, okay? And I'll see you guys soon on the next video. Bye. My lips probably ashy, but that's okay. Y'all still love me anyway. <laughs>